Welcome to another McRae tutorial. Today, we're going to learn how to make the Caesar Flip 2. All of the items are laid out before you. You're going to need a pen. You're going to also need a X-Acto knife, a former blank cutter, a file, double-sided tape, the lenses, and also a paper card to do the tracing. The first thing that we need is the double-sided tape and the card. First, we take the double-sided tape. Just a very small amount is, is all that you need. And we're going to rip off a small piece and tape it onto the front of the card. Once we've done this, we're going to take off the cover for the double-sided tape. And now we're going to place it on the front surface of the lens. So what we're trying to do here is just trace the shape of the actual frame front. Simply take your pen and we'll trace around the frame. Bear in mind that there are points such as the actual temple and the nose pad arm where it becomes a little bit difficult to actually trace inside. You can kind of leave those out for now, and once you remove the card, you can fill in the rest. So gently remove the card, and as you can see, we can fill in the rest of the spaces. First on the temporal side and the nasal side. Now that we've finished with the card, we are going to cut it out with a former blank cutter. And we're just using a former blank cutter just because uh, it's simpler. You're welcome to use a pair of scissors for this. It's, you're simply cutting a cardboard, so it's not hard at all. The former blank cutter that we're using is quite good. Now that we've completed the actual cutting, we can place it onto the side and we take our chassis. The Caesar Flip chassis comes with two lenses. There is a left and a right lens. And on the back of the lens, you're going to see the actual clip where it's mounted. Bear in mind there is a left and a right for this, so just make sure. And all you need to do is slip it over and push in firmly. We're going to do the other side as well. Place it over and push in firmly. You want to make sure that these lines are actually parallel. There's, if it's off by a little bit, this is the point where you want to adjust and to ensure that it is horizontal and vertical. At this point, we can take the cutout and apply it to the front of the Caesar flip. Now, with the cutout, we can ensure that the actual shape of the sunglass lens will be the same as the shape of the frame. So place it over into the front and just try and get it so that it covers over the actual frame. That's a little bit difficult in the beginning, but fortunately, with a little bit of practice, it's not as hard. One of the things that I like to try and do is turn the frame to the other side and look through. And if you can see that the edges are completely covered, then your lens is properly placed. So now that you've properly applied the cutout, all we need to do is remove the lens from the scissor flip and cut out the shape properly. And so now this is the time where we use our former blank cutter and cut out the shape. Now the easiest way to do this is just to do a very simple cut, just to remove some of the edges first, and then followed by a more precise and slow cut around. Now that we've completed the cutout, all we have to do is remove the actual front cut out. Now at this point, we're pretty much halfway through. We're finished with the right lens and we just need to touch up the right lens just a little bit. Make sure you remove the actual paper cutout gently because we're going to be reusing that again. Now with a file, we're just going to remove any kind of rough edges. Now be gentle at this point. Uh, the file can scratch the front or the back surface of the lens. Easy and uh, long strokes should work well.
There will be a little bit of dust and you just uh, very easily wipe that off. Once we're finished with the actual filing, then we can take our X-Acto knife and this actually performs two functions. You're going to get rid of any excess left over uh, from the actual filing, any, any excess dust left over. And also what it does is also give it a very, very fine little bit of a feather so that the edges on the actual lens aren't that sharp anymore. And so what I'm just doing now is going all the way around the lenses. So now if we've completed our right lens, all we're going to do is reattach it to the scissor flip. And again, very easily, firm pressure just to push it in. And now it's done. We're going to work on the other side. So once again, we're just going to take our cutout, and this time we're just using it and flipping it on the opposite side. So as you can see, I've already applied the tape here. I'm just going to remove just that top layer so that both sides are sticky and place it onto the front of the uh, Caesar flip. Once we've properly attached the cutout to the front of the lens, and once again, we remove the Caesar flip and we can take out the left lens this time. And essentially we're going to do the exact same thing on the left lens as we did in the right lens before. We've cut out the shape we can now remove the actual cutout. Remember that we also need to apply the file to the rough edges just to make sure that it smooths out a little bit more. And also the X-Acto knife is going to be applied to the lens afterward. So this is actually the complete lens. We're pretty much finished and we're just going to apply the left lens back onto the chassis of the Caesar flip. Again, very simply place it on and push firmly. We're simply going to apply it back onto the frame front and that's what it looks like finished. One last part. We're just going to remove the film on the front of the lens. Please bear in mind that there is a film on the front and the back of the lens. I'm just removing the film on the front. It's very easy to remove. You just need to rub your thumb over it and pull off the excess plastic. Clean it off a little for any dust and we're done. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to email us at info at .com and be sure to visit our website for frequent updates at www.mccrayoptical.com.